Hi, my name is Lee. I was one of the SUP water testers for the compact and lightweight SUP test for SUP Water Pro. Um, and I'm going on holiday. And so I thought I'd put in a cheeky little ask to um, the guys at SUP Border to see if I could test one of the super lightweight boards um, out for real. Um, we're off to Croatia. We're gonna do a family holiday, uh, three stops, flying into Dubrovnik, over to Par, Havar, and then out from Split. Um, and I don't want to go on holiday without a paddle board, but my Red 11 um, for sport, um, it's just too big, just too heavy. There's no way we're going to be able to transport that as, as much as I can pack light. Um, so we're going to try out the Cockapelli. So this was one of the boards on the Sup Border Pro test. Um, it was one of the lightest boards on the test, one that I really enjoyed paddling, um, seemed really straightforward to use, not too many bells and whistles. Um, so we're going to borrow it and I'm just going to show you um, some of the process of me packing the board up. Um, one of the big decisions is what we're actually going to take it in. We're going to take it in a suitcase, a rucksack, the dry bag it comes with. So I'll just talk you through some of the features as we do it and see how we go. So I've actually made three attempts of rolling the cockapelli. Nowhere near as easy as when I just um, roll my breadboard. I'm really used to that. I put the pump inside. Um, I roll from the top. It doesn't have a deflate mode on the pump, so I just roll it and the air squeezes out as I roll it up. Um, the cockapelli, obviously, I want to get it super small, as small as it possibly can go. And I was struggling when I was folding it over and rolling it. Um, just to roll it straight to keep it all tucked in and, and moving in the right direction so I've finally gone with using the pump to deflate it folding it in half as instructed and I fold it around the pump like I do with my breadboard um, and then I'm just going to see how that goes in the suitcase or whatever bag we decide to use um, as you can see it is so much smaller I mean super super small compared to a normal board. Um, still feels quite heavy. Uh, it's not gonna be, um, you know, we're gonna know we're carrying it, but it's it's now a viable option. So one of the main differences in packing the paddle boards up is the length of the paddle. So the cockapelli comes in about 60 centimeters, and my normal red paddle comes in about 90 centimeters. So quite a difference when putting it into a suitcase. So final decision made, we're going to use a rucksack. I'd just rather not have to carry around a heavy suitcase from location to location and I'm really pleased with the way it all fits in here. Paddleboard rolled up, paddle down the side, extra bits on top, flip-flops in the side pockets and we're ready to go. The only thing that stops me from being able to take it as hand luggage with EasyJet is the paddle is just slightly too long for the 56 centimetre limit. So we're in Dubrovnik, uh, Dubrovnik Old Town, just behind me. Um, come down to the beach this morning, pumped up. Um, took a little bit longer than it would do for with a standard pump. It's a compact pump, um, like a micro pump, but it is double action chamber. So it wasn't too bad, it's just a bit short. So bending over it's a, a bit more difficult. So I've paddled eight minutes from the beach and the sea is just glorious it is so blue so turquoise and um, there's a few kayaking trips out so kayaking tours are really popular here haven't seen anyone else on a paddleboard um, haven't seen anyone renting them haven't seen any, anyone on their own um, lots of pipes lots of jet skis but this is amazing i can't believe i've been able to access this on my own just straight from the beach um, so so far thinking this was so worth it um, I wouldn't want to have missed this. This is just amazing. Bring your paddleboard on holiday. This morning's my last morning in Dubrovnik. Um, just had three nights here. 
and I've got up slightly early, uh, seven o'clock start to get on the water while it's still quite calm and lovely and it's so peaceful, so tranquil. Um, yeah, just having a really lovely morning paddle. Today is our final day in Croatia. Um, another day in the beach, it's hard life. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty busy on the beach. Uh, it's only half ten in the morning, so I am very happy to have the pop belly complex up and to be able to go and explore. I'm going to aim to get over there. Just five minutes away from that busy beach and past quite a lot of naked people. Um, you can get to this and this gorgeous little cove just to rest up kind of wish I'd bought a picnic um, it's, it's just glorious so have I paddled as much as I expected to on holiday well, I think out of the 10 days I've paddled or we've had that we've used the paddle board as a family four or five of those days um, I've had three long paddles, about five or six K, so not as far as I'd maybe wanted to. I was hoping to get a few 10 K paddles in, but I'm still, you know, I've got to remember I'm still quite new to this. Um, I don't know the area, so I've never wanted to go too far from where I could reasonably get back to. I've never wanted to stray too far from the edge of the coast. Um, but for those four or five days, the paddle was been absolutely invaluable. Like I wouldn't have enjoyed the holiday half as much if we didn't have the means to get in the water um, and, and just get around the corner a little bit from some of the really busy places that we've been so yeah I, I think if you you know even if you're taking it and using it for just a couple of days um, it's really worth it. So using the Cockapelli overall a um, few things I've noticed now that I've been using it for several days um, the paddle's not too bad from all the paddles that we used on the compact sup test. I didn't like a lot of the paddles. This one's not too bad, but it has got um, one of those divity bits right in the place where I want to put my bottom hand. Um, so I'm always catching that. Um, it's not a paddle that I'd want to use over really long distances, but I have to say for, for this kind of holiday sup in it, it's, it's been absolutely fine. Um, it, it's light, it fits in the bag okay. It gets you from A to B, so all okay. Um, in terms of the board itself, it is definitely a bit twitchier than, um, than my board at home. Probably don't know what I mean by twitchy, but definitely work harder to keep my balance um, when it's choppy. It's only a 10 foot board. It's um, six inches deep and, and I like a five inch board because I'm quite small and short and, and light. I, I like to feel closer onto the water. So the six inches maybe just makes me feel that bit more up out of the water and less balanced. Um, it is so light, it is so super light that I've carried it inflated from a beach all the way back to the apartment. Um, we've been able to like just leave it on an apartment balcony. In the hotel we've had to put it up and down more, um, so pumped it up more. It does take a while to pump up with the, the micro pump, but it's so worth it. You, you just take your time, it doesn't really matter. Um, because it's a micro pump, it's, it's shorter than a normal pump, so you're bending over a lot, so not, not great if you've got a bad back probably worth even bringing an electric pump um, but just then pumping it up at the hotel or, or your apartment and then walking the board down to the beach um, but overall I just cannot complain just just for the sheer ability to move it around from place to place without it being a massive burden um, and then the benefits you get of being able to be on the water and find some secret little places 
it's it's just been great so thank you sup border pro and thank you cocker belly for the for the loan of the board we're, we're really grateful and we wholeheartedly recommend taking a compact sup on holiday